is coming from three areas. It comes from science and technology, as you might tell from the title. Disciplines like computer science, product design, neuroscience. But we have an interest in the sciences and the technologies in terms of how they shape the world. Not what they make, but how they shape the world. Now what does that mean? Well, let me turn to Emily Stebbins' honors thesis to explain it to you. Emily Stebbins did an honors thesis. And Emily, your thesis looked into how photography, all the way from the beginning of photography and Ansel Adams to Instagrams, have shaped our notion, or sorry, have inflected. She used, I had to check, no, inflected. She, it, this use of technology has inflected our understanding of nature, using national parks as a very good example. What would we know of Yellowstone if it were not for photography? So the technology, the science, is something that shapes our view of the world, and that's STS. But STS is also made up of the social sciences, anthropology, sociology, economics. But it is a social science we're concerned about that deals with the social conscience that we need to bring to science and technology. What do I mean by the social conscience in terms of science and technology? Here I need Bradley Woe. Bradley. Bradley Woe wrote an honors thesis about neo-colonialism and design thinking. Let me help you with that. Neo-colonialism refers to the vestiges of colonialism. Something this country dealt with 200 and 30 odd years ago, 46 years ago. <laughs> something that my country, Canada, dealt with in a very different way. And something that the world continues to deal with. And the social conscience that we bring through the social sciences is part of what distinguishes STS. And finally, STS is made up of the humanities. The humanities, think about history, the arts, philosophy. But in STS's viewpoint, the humanities that we're concerned about is what makes us humane. What makes us humane in particular around the use of science and technology. Here I need Sawyer Altman. <laughs> Sawyer Altman wrote a thesis, an honors thesis, in terms of establishing a civic humanism. Just think about that for a moment. A civic humanism, concerned with what's civil in terms of social media. I don't know if you've noticed in the last few years, but we could use a little more civic humanism. Did I hear that? Yes? Yes. You're ready for STS. That's what we do in STS. Now, it is not the tradition of STS to lecture people on a super hot day like this. We in fact turn to one of our students for that. And I'm going to introduce her in a moment, but first let me put together, let me say a word or two about the team that it takes to get these students here. I'd like to thank people who are going to be doubly awarded. So the first award that goes to these five people is distinction. And distinction is earned by graduating in the top 15% of their class with the GPA. The second award, Phi Beta Kappa, is the oldest academic honor society in the United States. It's begun in December 5th of 1776. And its primary mission is to promote excellence in the liberal arts and the sciences. And lastly, Ari X. Wilson. for the long run. Ari F. Wilson from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I will be moving east to embrace the bitter cold of Boston while working in marketing at Hubsport and spending her free time at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts.
loved ones. Stand up, turn around quick. And parents, I ask you to restrain yourselves, take pictures, but stay in your seats. The procession, the recessional will now begin. Thank <laughs> you.